guys, um, Vicky here of Triple C and I don't even know where to start with this video because honestly I just decided to like sit down and just kind of like talk um, but I'm gonna be all over the place, not gonna lie, but I just wanted to talk about GOT7 and what's been happening lately. Um, if some of you guys may know, um, I am in the loop with everything that's going on. Um, but yeah, the other day, GOT7's contract with JYP Entertainment has finally ended. They decided not to renew and I just felt so much happiness for them because I know how long they've been wanting to get out of that shithole. <laughs> um, but also there was a bit of like bittersweet happiness in there because I don't know it's just like it's not because of the company itself it's just kind of like I know that despite them leaving the company and saying that they're gonna stay together, which I know that they will. Seven is forever, okay? So I know like the bond of between the boys are super strong. Like I've never seen a bond like that in like groups I've stand before. So it's very special to me because I will never stand a group like on Seven ever again. I just feel like because of this whole contract thing and obviously the boys wanna go their own way, um, we obviously won't be seeing GOT7 as 7 much anymore. Um, I feel like it'd probably be like instead of two com- like what? We went from like three comebacks- no, not three comebacks. Three releases a year to like two, to back to three, back to two. And I feel like now it might even be like one release a year or maybe one every couple of years. Um, because you know, the length of a K-pop group life is not that long. Um, some people, some members want to go off their own way and do their own stuff and build their own um, reputation. So it's understandable. Um, I've kind of mentally been preparing myself for this moment. I feel like I'm closing like a chapter of my life <laughs> um, that has been the past seven years. And I don't know, I just felt very, very emotional. At first, like obviously everybody was like freaking out because we're like, oh my god, they're not renewing. Oh my god, they're going to this band and I was just like, I was like crying. I got so overwhelmed. I was like, I knew this was coming, but it hit harder than I thought. And I was like, damn. Like GOT7 is one of those groups that will always have a special place in my heart no matter what happens. I've been a fan since basically pre-debut. So I've been following them from debut up until now, obviously. And there's just been so many good memories and I don't know, I'm just feeling very reminiscent and I just feel very thankful. just want to say thank you GOT7 for everything. Um, even if it means we have to wait for a while, that's fine. But I would love to see us them as 7 together again. Um, but yeah, like along this 7 year journey, I've met like so many of my closest friends because of GOT7. And I can never be so much more thankful. I met, I literally met my best friend, Mitch, because of GOT7, so that will always, I will forever be in debt, in debt to them because like without GOT7 I would not have the friends I have now, um, and you know, like they've really impacted my life and helped me out of like dark places when I was in high school. Um, I started standing them when I was what, 16, almost 17, um, and now I'm 23, turning 24 this year, so I'm like, I just feel happy that they're starting a new page and I can't wait to see what is to come. Um, seeing all the rumors about um, each member signing with different agencies and then um, Mark going back home, finally, that makes me so goddamn happy. Like, um, also congrats Mark on reaching 1 million subscribers without any videos. We love a king. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to see what each member has in store for the future for their own individual activities. Man, I'm just so happy that they're not going to be tied down to that shit-ass company anymore. The amount of stuff that they had to go through, it made my blood boil. It was never that bad until maybe the last couple of years. Um, obviously the first two or so years, like, it was, it wasn't that evident, but that's because, like, that seven was kind of the money maker at that <laughs> point, so I'm just forever thankful 
for such a great group of amazing seven boys that I will always love um, and cherish deep in my heart because there is really no other group like GOT7. Like, they're just so unique to me. Um, and I'm sure a lot of Agassiz understand that as well. And it's just... <sighs> Seeing them start a new chapter in their lives, it's, it's like us starting a new chapter as well. Um, so it's just bittersweet to end that old chapter <laughs> um but yeah they seem very happy i've never seen them so active on social media so that's really exciting to see it's also sad because <laughs> i feel like because of the pandemic and all that we didn't get to have our last final concert tour or something like that or just like have a actual in-person 7th anniversary fan meeting. The pandemic kind of took one year, got 7th last year away from us, but obviously we still made the most of it. It's just really bittersweet and I just get so emotional thinking about it, how long it's been, how much the boys have grown um, ever since their debut and it's just, I don't know, I feel like I've grown with them and it's really nice and yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you for making the past 7 years of my life the happiest moments of my life. Um, thank you. Because of you, I've met some of my closest friends I'm still friends with to this day. And, you know, it's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video of just like a little ramble. Um, leave your comments below on how you feel about GOT7, about the whole situation, um, what your favorite memory uh, with GOT7 is. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!